let me first import the namespace of business layer so using business layer good now let me create the object of business layer that is CLS business obj business equal to new CLS business finally let me just attach to my grid view that is this one I want to attach the data to this grid view so let me just attach grid view dot data source obj business dot load customers finally grid view one dot data bind okay let me just give the breakpoint and see how the data is passing how the data is retrieving by the grid view so yes let's see the flow now the presentation layer wants to fetch the data from the database so what happens so this is our data once the data so it will request let's see what happens let me step inside so it has been hit to the business layer means it is requesting the business layer is requesting the business layer because the business layer as I already told you the business layer acts as a bridge between the DAL layer that is data access layer and, uh, and our and our UI layer that is presentation layer now it is gone into the customer DB see the how the flow is going on execute ex execute SQL the method it will go it will open up the connection yes the command will fire it will fill the data set finally connection will close it will return the data set so the step it has been hit to the database now the database now again the database giving back the results to the business layer acknowledgement <coughs> finally it will again back to the business layer now data table return the data table finally it will again go back to the UI grid view data bind done and yes here is the output So this is how the data flows in the three tier architecture as you seen just now first when the UI layer request for the data it will go and hit the business layer then the business layer again passes the data to the data la uh, DAL layer and the DAL layer fetches the data from the database then again it will give back to the business layer and again the business layer will give back to the UI layer so in a way business layer acts as a bridge between a communicator between your UI layer and the presentation layer now what we will do now we have seen the uh, the demonstration of using the website now what we will do as I already told you the three tier architecture is a plug and play like a architecture means means uh, if if anything changes it will not affect the other two layers it, if, if suppose the UI layer changes the business layer will not affect the DAL layer will not affect so what I will do I will create a windows form application now and I will use these two layers that is BI layer and DAL layer so what I will do I will go and create the windows form application so for that I will go and add a new project <coughs> that is windows form application
in D yes Windows Form application 1 and my behind code is Visual C Sharp with .NET 4.0 so let me just add a data grid view here to fetch the result let me just give you the nice name of title so for that I will use the label see my friends what I what I did here I kept the data layer as it is that is DAL layer and business layer and the uh, SQL server as same but I am changing the UI layer at first scenario our UI layer was web application now our UI layer has been changed to web to Windows application so let's see how how it becomes easy for me to code when the UI changes from web to uh, Windows form application so for that just let me just write the code now and let me go back to the behind code of this now what I will do I want to load the database uh, I, I mean I want to load the data into the data grid view so for that I will go and uh, go to my solution explorer I will add the reference of business layer now because we need to reference only one layer that is business layer yes we're done and we'll use the using business layer I will add to my form load now this will create the object that is CLS business obj business equal to new cls business what i will do i will go obj Now let me just use this name data grid view one let me just build this I don't know why the name is not coming here is build once okay data grid view one dot data source is equal to obj business dot load customer yes finally let me just put a breakpoint here let me start debugging oh I'm sorry let me just let me give the startup set as startup project I did run this we are getting some errors
okay since we are using a, a windows form application we need to create the connection also i just forgot to create the connection so i will go quickly to my form now that is solution explorer and just create the connection now to the windows form application i need a app.config file and just add a new item app dot config file let me just search application configuration file yes or app dot config file so let me add the connection here i already created the connection in the web dot config file so let me just copy that connection string now from web dot config file to my app dot config file since it's a new application since we have moved from our web application to the windows form application so we need to create the connection string also in our windows form application so so this is our compulsory step now so i have created the connection now i'm we are done with our connection now let me go back to my form dot cs now let me just start the debugging now so debugging is started so let me go step into now now it will go into the business layer to load the data now again it will go into the dal layer from business layer to the dal layer it has loaded the data successfully yes the data has been loaded now now it will again the data has been come back to the business layer because since business layer is a communicator between our dal layer and the ui layer yes friends as you can see we have loaded the data successfully in our data grid view using the windows form application so friends can you see the benefit of using the three tar architecture i changed the ui i have not changed the business layer and the dal layer but still doing some minor changes by creating a simple connection i am able to create the same application the same thing in the windows form application also so whatever working is uh, happening in the web application i did the same thing with the same some minor changes i just created a simple connection in the windows for windows form application and the same application started working in the windows form application also so this is how the three tier architecture is helps in the project it in helps in the application because it becomes a plug and play like an architecture so if ui changes if the database changes whatever changes happens it becomes very easy because since we have divided our application in the three three layer that is ui layer the presentation layer where we present the all our html code javascript code uh, uh, jquery code we present the the controls we we design we we present our design also the presentation is layer is all about the design presenting to the end user and the business layer is nothing but the logic layer the logic layer is written as per the business requirement we can also ha have a uh, validations also in our business layer and finally the dal layer dal layer is access the database database can be anything that is oracle mysql or sql server so as per the database we we can write our dal layer means we can have the methods for insert update query and we can also access the stored procedures also so this is how the three tar architecture hope you like this session okay if you have any doubts and any queries do mail me on this email id that is gurumatrix2004 at the rate gmail.com and do visit my site that is www.questpoint.com thank you very much thank you very much take care